Dear Heavenly Father, our world has been shaken by multiple crises. We are suffering in many ways, physically, mentally, economically, medically and socially. Ancient wounds and divisions between nations, generations, peoples and tribes have been freshly revealed amidst these challenges. With everything in turmoil around us, we stand and worship you. We are grateful that even when we are being shaken, you, dear Jesus, have placed us into an unshakable kingdom. Lord Jesus, we thank you for placing us in your unshakable kingdom. Fill us with peace, faith, hope and joy as we worship you. Heal the deep divisions fracturing our world. Today we stand in the gap for the cities, nations and peoples of our world. Raw pain and hopelessness lie underneath the divisions fracturing us. Make us ambassadors of reconciliation and beacons of hope as we walk in your love and proclaim your word. We believe for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Revive your church, dear Jesus, and bring salvation to millions. Dear Lord Jesus, empower us to both live and proclaim your glorious word. We come before your throne with one voice, boldly asking for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Lord, please bring revival to our cities and lands. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray against the pandemic that has been ravaging us for months. With no vaccine, we are reduced to lockdowns, quarantines, masks, and even social distancing. As one church, we lift up the scientists, the doctors, the nurses, and other first responders battling this virus right now. We also pray for the essential workers risking their own health to protect, serve, and feed us. We are so thankful for the cities and nations where COVID-19 is mitigated. Yet we continue to cry out before your throne, dear Jesus, until this pandemic has been completely eradicated. Dear Heavenly Father, we are in awe of you. We come before your throne in reverent fear. We ask you to eradicate COVID-19, heal our cities and nations from its ravages. We pray all of this in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen.